But this one is marked by Susanna as a threat of bad leftist apologism. Okay, so this is marked by Susanna, sent to me by Susanna, and labeled as, again, what was the title for this one? A threat, a threat of bad leftist apologism. Okay, who is this guy? JMC. Um, seems like a leftist commentator. Um, JMC is saying a terrible crime and and a tragedy. An eighteen-year-old. What? An eighteen-year-old decapitated. Wait, was the person? No, was the person that did the decapitation eighteen years old? An 18-year-old decapitated a school teacher in France for showing the Charlie Hebdo cartoons of Muhammad in class. Then the cops hunted down and shot dead the young murderer. Okay. Uh, ghastly, upsetting, and extremely sad. Okay, so far. So far, not something, unless you mean something that I don't, I hope you don't mean. So far, not, not that bad. Hold on, let me zoom in. You guys can't even see. Oh my god, he was 18. Oh my god. Jesus Christ, how did he do? <sighs> how do you get to... Okay. JMC then continues saying, The only people who will benefit from this are authoritarians, Islamophobic, low-melanated fascists. Is, is it okay to say that, you two? Fascists, okay? The Macron government, which never recovered from the... Um, what is this? Gillets, Gillets, I don't know, and will pivot to appeasing fa um, fascists to do so. I, I think these are like shorter versions of things. Fa fascist means fascist. To do so, Salafi Jihad is trying to stage a comeback after the fall of ISIS, uh, discredited them. So he's, okay, so again, this guy is concerned more about the Fascist? Which fascist? You're talking. You're referring to Macron's government as fascist. What the hell? Okay. Is that what it's? Is that am I am I interpreting this right? Right? Islamophobic white fascist. The Macron government. Yeah. This guy is. Wow. This guy thinks the Macron government is an Islamophobic white fascist government. In what world do you call the Macron's government? I mean, if this is how you describe Macron's government, how would you describe some of these far right groups? Yeah, my <laughs> depressing sounds like it. Um, Turo saying, I can already hear Marxist soccer going, I rest my case. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Oh my god! I shouldn't be laughing. Yay! Yeah, so this this guy proves. Yeah, the um, yeah, this guy. Well, it doesn't prove. It's just an anecdotal example. This guy is a ca exactly the case that the uh, Marxist soccer was making. Um, do, do you have members in France? If not, maybe you can reach out to them. We do have members in France. Just check out our consulate. Just search out Aces Republic consulates. Aces Republic has local uh, chapters in every major city. Armin, it surprises me how on uh, how on world have you survived wrath of cults hey don't give them any ideas if macron is right wing where on the spectrum did sarkozy fall yeah let me continue with this tweet and because of that the event will be spun out into a symbol to be manipulated by the political rhetoric of various g grubby little this despotisms com uh, competing for control over ordinary people and it's those ordinary French people of all faiths and ethnicities who will suffer for it okay so yeah this is a bad take because again you have to, if you want to show concern for Muslims again Muslims are not ethnicities but if you want to show concern for Muslims you have to Maybe I wait a little bit. I don't know. I don't know what the rules are, but I, I think it's okay to show concern for Muslims. And I get to be fair, this person did say at first, like, I don't know what the rules are, but this guy originally said, like, this is a terrible crime and a tragedy. Okay, so he didn't 
like this doesn't fit the Marxist soccer's tweet because he started by calling this. I'm just trying to steal man this guy, okay? He started by calling it a terrible crime and a tragedy, right? So if you look at Marxist soccer's tweet, he's saying, if you make it your first concern. And this person didn't make it its his first concern. He made his first concern. See, guys, being, look at this. I'm being steel manning even the people we consider Wokistani, okay? So this guy started, the first concern was the tragedy, okay? So he was clear, careful enough to not to just call it, just cry Islamophobia before moving on to something else, okay? Before, at the beginning, right? He did that before he moved on to that, right? Um, but he is extremely wokey by calling a centrist government like Macron Islamophobic and white fascist. Oh my God, these people. I, w I can't imagine if these people were ever experienced true fascism. What would they call? If you're using words like this for Macron's government, like what words do you have left for, act for actual fascists? If this is the terminology you lose from, like what are you going to do? Like if you ever get taken over by fascists, are you just going to be like, what? You just have no words left. You use all the words. You use you use all the words. You have nothing left. You have to invent new words. Extra f fascism on steroids or something like that. I don't know what you're going to do. Um, but, I mean, here's an interesting thing. You know how Macron had a speech right before this event about how... Islam is a problem right now in France and it needs to be dealt with and you know radicalism is growing and the uh, Muslim community is becoming too segregated. Imagine if he had that speech after this event. Then people like James C I think would have said that this was could not have been Macron actually genuinely caring for segregation and the nature of Islam in France and the effects that it's having. This is them feeding into this, taking advantage of this event to fear monger and spread Islamophobia, right? But it just so happened that it ha that Macron's speech was before this event, so it's going to be harder. It's going to be hard for them to frame it like that. But it's really hard for a government to actually address problems like this with events like this without looking like you're fear mongering, right? And it doesn't really matter how many times you come as Macron and say, like, listen, we condemn anti-Muslim bigotry. Uh, we want Muslims to be happy. They're French citizens and we're a French government and we want we represent all French people, including the Muslim ones. You could say that 24-7, but, but then they're going to be like, but this is like, hey, guys, but we need to address this problem. They're going to be like, nope, 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 nope. All those clarifications there. Doesn't doesn't make any you know it's just you sugarcoating your Islamophobia right so again to be fair though words don't mean much uh, po the po the actual policies and what they execute is how you judge Macron's government right and like somebody could say that about us because we were celeb we, when Macron was giving his speech we were celebrating it a lot right and maybe we shouldn't be because talk is cheap right. Maybe the words are pretty good, and the actions are act either too pro, too easygoing on Islam, Islamic radicalism, or maybe it actually does end up being uh, anti-Muslim, promoting anti-Muslim bigotry, and too unfair to Muslims, right? So we shouldn't get too happy when somebody just comes up with a speech that we like, right? We should hold back and be like, this speech is promising, we like what we hear, but we're going to withhold judgment until we actually see policies. So that's another thing that we need to take into account. Let me see what else you guys are saying. See, guys, how I changed my position on the speech right here with you guys as well? Because I just going through these tweets, even though I probably disagree with most of what this guy is saying, it just made me reevaluate something I just did. I just did it live on air with you guys, right? I was very heavily celebrating Macron's speech but now i'm thinking like you know anybody could just walk to a mic microphone and just say everything that we like hearing right and you know both the people who are saying that macron's government is too soft on islam or people like this who are saying that macron is going to promote anti-muslim bigotry we cannot judge which side is true 
based on a speech that Macron gave, right? I mean, we need to wait and see actually what, what's going to be, what's going to happen, what's going to be executed. Oh, look, we have people from France here. Do you guys like how I change my opinions here live on air with you guys? You could see me think, go through this with you guys. Uh, Black Angel saying it's a terrible crime, deeply rooted in the Islamic teachings. Of course. And again, Black Angel, I, I, what I told our audience here is that this, this is so obvious to us that I don't even feel like mentioning it, right? And I think like our audience here has moved past. I mean, sometimes we're gonna say it anyways because we're gonna have new, we're gonna have a lot of new people anyways, right? So we are gonna keep reminding people of that. But I just hope that most of you here, that's obvious to you guys, and we're just trying to do some other more nuanced takes. Um. Yeah, so this JMC continues by saying, and because of that, the event will be spun out into a symbol to be manipulated by political rhetoric uh, of various grubby little despotism. I have already read that. This, lastly, though, of course, it's the Muslim immigrant communities in France that will likely suffer most deeply and pay the highest cost. Uh, solidarity to them and to all those who will stand up to resist the wave of racism likely to wash over the country is uh, in response to this. All right, wait. Solidarity to them and to, the, to all those who will stand up to resist the wave of racism likely to wash over the country in response to it. I wouldn't call it racism. Hey, so Susanna call, uh, called all of this a bad take. I don't think it's completely a bad take. The only thing I would change here is change racism to bigotry because Islam is not a race. You can be bigoted against Muslims, but you can't be racist against Muslims. That's the only thing I would change. But yeah, I think in times where it's, guys, look at this. We're an anti-Islam atheist channel, right? This is why we don't grow as fast as other channels because it's so easy for me to just be like, oh, people are angry right now. Like, oh my God, Islam, right? I could just come in and just like feed, like just throw red meat at you guys, right? You guys know I'm anti-Islam, right? And I could be like swearing at these people and be like, what are you saying? You're worried about Muslim? But no, I mean, this is a legitimate concern. I have this concern, right? I, when, when people get passionately angry, Sometimes their responses are not going to be, their responses to their anger, their responses are not going to be measured. They're going to look at Muslims in the street and they're going to be like, it was you guys, it's you guys. You guys are, yeah, you guys are like, um, you're all the same. You guys are just violent or something like that. I'm not saying that, right? And they, they're going to react. They're going to treat them like crap, Some, you know, they're going to not, serve them in restaurants they, and they're going to make them feel less at home in France. They're going to make more Muslims feel like, yeah, this is not my country. And they're going to push them more towards that. You know, this whole Macron saying like Muslims are segregated and we need to make them integrate with the rest of France. Well, guess what? If you're angry at all of them and you make them feel not at home in France, they're going to guess what's going to happen. It's going to cause more segregation, right? And more segregation is going to lead to more radicalism. And more radicalism is going to lead to more crap like this. So, I mean, I, I, I think JMC's language is kind of like, I mean, idiotic with this whole Islamic white fascism here and also here saying racism instead of bigotry. Like, I have those bones to pick with him. But overall, I share this concern. Overall, I share this concern. Is it weird that I share this concern with this apparently woke Hastani far lefty guy? I do share this concern. Um, I say just saying, so where is the solidarity and concern for the brutal attack on F O what's F O E? F O E? What's F O E? I'm surprised you don't see it as a bad take. I do see it as somewhat of a bad take. But FOE is what? F oh, freedom of expression. Oh, okay, okay. I mean, it was here at the top. 
Isn't that freedom of expression concern? Like, isn't doesn't he like start by saying like it was a terrible crime to kill somebody for showing Charlie Hebdo cartoons? It's right here. Like Ice Age is right here at the top. I'm not saying this is like a w w amazing take. I'm just saying some of the concerns mentioned in this tweet. I share some of these concerns. I'm not saying everything about these t tweets is hung. You know, I'm I'm go good with it. And again, it's. I think the immigrant community will suffer most deeply. Oh, well, let me see. Did he say most? Maybe I will fix that. Where did he say most? F most. Okay, yeah. Um, most deeply and pay most deeply. Most deeply as compared to what? Um, yeah, maybe I wouldn't. So I wouldn't use most here because I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the person that who's decapitated is suffering the most deeply. So, yep. Yeah, I said, fine. I accept your criticism of my approval. I would, so it's, I will, I will change racism. I will remove most here. Oh, come on, man. You're on the verge of pandering here. I'm not, I, if I wanted to pander, I would, it would, it would be easiest right now for me to pander to people who are angry and want me to go yelling at Islam. That would be the, that's the easiest path. I'm doing the I'm doing the opposite of pandering. I'm I'm losing subscribers because I'm not giving into what would be the most easiest thing to do to get a following. I'm doing the opposite of pandering. Right after you have a dip, dip, somebody shouting out Allah Akbar and beheading somebody, the easiest thing to do right now is to go out and go on a rampage against Islam and be like, which I do, but I'm do, I'm like, but not. Right now, like this would be the time to take advantage of a news like this, and I'm not doing that. That would be that is the pandering. I'm doing I'm doing the opposite of what you're supposed to do to get following because I'm being honest with you guys. And even if I dis even it's okay to disagree with me, okay? Maybe I'm maybe my takes are crap right now, but I'm not pandering. Even if my take is wrong here, I'm not pandering. I'm doing the opposite of pandering. Um. Oh, on the verge. I'm talking about this particular take. Okay, but I'm not. I'm not even. At, I'm not even at the verge of pandering. I'm doing the opposite. I'm doing the. Oh, come on. I'm doing the opposite. You know. You know this is losing me subscribers. You know people came here like, ooh, Armin, show us Muslims. Ah, yeah, we're angry, Armin. Like, give us, give it to us right now. And they're like, what the hell are we? What the hell is Armin saying right now? Okay, I people are. As we speak, people are hitting on the unsubscribe button. That's what's happening, okay? So I'm not even on the verge. <laughs> I'm the, this is a, like, again, maybe I'm wrong, but I'm not even on the verge of pandering. Yeah, AJ, good. Like, yeah, but by Ice Age, I give it to you. You're right. This most is like, this most is also something that needs to be removed. Not even close, okay? Like AJ is pointing out, yeah, I'm pretty sure the teacher's loved ones are the most deeply the people that need to be, yeah. And also France's, France's enlightenment values being at danger, that's the most, that's the highest cost, okay? Because France's enlightenment values being at risk is, is going to be a cost to everyone in France and the world, okay? So that is the, the highest cost right now, the danger to enlightenment values and freedom of expression in France, okay? Are you happy now, Ice Age? That's what I'm saying. That's I mean, you shouldn't be happy right now, but yeah, you, you know that is. But I I think like we all here know that that's the highest cause. We are all here defenders of enlightenment values, so I think it got, yeah. But it, but yeah, you guys here in the live chat, you're here to hold me accountable when I have a bad take. And here, I didn't see this most, and I mean, I didn't pay attention to the fact they saying most, and you guys called it out, and I'm like, you're right. <laughs> Abu Jahal Abu Jah was not Jahal. Uh, Abu Jahal was not Jahal. These usernames are amazing. I love them. You have lost a lot of Indian followers. Yeah, but we also gained, we lost a, hen, a lot of anti enlightenment Indian followers and we gained a lot of pro enlightenment values Indian followers. No one is saying Armin is totally pandering. Pandering to who? Who am I pandering to? Jesus Christ. You have lost a lot of Hindutva subscribers. Yes, yeah, so I'm not pandering. 
If I lost subscribers. Who am I pandering to? Guys. All right. I'm even disagreeing with Susanna. Susanna put Susanna gave this as an example for me to say to tell you guys what a bad take this is. And I'm even like not caught I mean, it is a bad take, but it's not like a one hundred percent bad take, right? So not even pandering to the CEO of Aces Republic.